This is a thread I wanted to look at first. The thread is about the difficulty of normal content. I wanted to wait to see the raid tier before I say anything. There was, there are already posts about dungeon and trial difficulty and now normal raids should be thrown into discussion too. I might repeat points already said, but I think we should really make a point of this. We, the people not okay with this difficulty, what? Need the devs to hear it to hopefully make a course correction. Okay. Is it, is it not okay because... Okay, the problem with the difficulty on normal fights as I see it is use and abuse of non-standard telegraphs. New ones. Nasty mechanic overlaps. Stuff you would see on extreme and harder fights. Oh, I see. Mechs resolving too quickly for the mental capacity they demand to process. One too many catch this Thank mech. You, Optimus Prime. Mechs that have you running Zeppelin around Bunch like headless chickens. Evading seemingly random patterns. Listen, I would only agree that this was a problem if it wasn't possible to res as freely as you can in FF14. Uh, you do not have to be good at these things every time to clear the content. You can have somebody else res you and uh, there's not an, there's not like tough DPS checks on top of this. You can definitely res uh, your way through this. Like you guys have seen me be extremely pepega on tons of these fights and um, it's fine because you can get res if you f up. Now, if this was like World of Warcraft where there's like two reses maybe that you can use and it's on 10 minute cooldowns, then I'd agree, okay, this is too much, but it's very forgiving. Not only that, uh, I also think Everybody can learn how to do these things. It's just gonna take, there's gonna be some growing pains as you get used to it. Um, but it is a, it's a jump up in difficulty. And so these kind of reactions I, I did expect. All this is making fights in this expansion frustrating and exhausting. The honeybee fight had me wishing for the healer to not raise me. I was there in the floor, dead for the nth time, thinking I don't really wanna be in that duty. This tells me that maybe FF14 needs another difficulty that's in between. I kind of feel like maybe that's the case. The people that were comfortable with the previous difficulty are now and don't want to learn, like don't want to engage with a new difficulty are going to be having a bad time. And those people shouldn't just be totally uh, disregarded, you know what I mean? does kind of feel like this is a problem that I've had uh, for, for a while that I've kind of seen with the game where in the past we've had super, super easy mode and we've had a super fucking hard mode with nothing in between. But now are we going to approach a situation where we have harder or like what I would consider to be reasonably hard, somewhat challenging, challenging mode and then super hard mode. But then what about the easy mode? You know. It's not an issue with learning the fight. Because that I can't do. Because that's something I like about WoW as well. There's a lot of different uh, difficulty settings for a given fight. You know, you have LFR. You have Normal. You have Heroic. And Mythic. There's four f***ing difficulties for every raid fight. <laughs> And uh, so you can choose, though let's be honest, LFR is the hardest out of all those. Yeah. People want to literally face roll raids and expert dungeons while they watch content on their second screen. 
Honestly, the best thing would be to add duty support to the normal raids and tune it down a bit for those who want the story in a bit of fear. I completely agree. And I think that's, I also agree for dungeon content. I think duty support offers a great opportunity to add in some difficulty settings, like for lower difficulties. I really do. It's because you have this other mode already in the game. So have a duty support mode that's easier for dungeons and raids. I, co I totally agree. People already use it as a training mode for learning different jobs. So that makes complete sense to me. Uh, there's no reason that it should be exactly the same for AI as it is for having real players in the party. Um, they said it's not an issue of learning the fight because that I can do. We don't, but we don't do this content alone, you know? I think it was the fourth time I was doing Valley Garmanda when I finally managed to finish without dying myself. But that's a moot point when half the party was dead half the time. What? Wait. Fourth time I was doing I managed to finish without dying myself. Even knowing the fight doesn't make it any less of a disheartening experience. But you clear it after four... Clearing it after four times is not bad. That shouldn't be disheartening. You did great. Like, that's that's fine. I think that's normal. Um, and yes, this concerns normal raids too. Like, th th this is kind of bizarre to me. Because I'm thinking, did you... You learned the fight. You cleared it without dying. After the fourth try. And you didn't look on back. You didn't look back on that and think. Hell yeah, I learned the fight. I didn't die. Like I did good. You didn't feel like that. You felt more like this fight. <laughs> I guess it's a different reaction than what I would have. But I guess there are people that will have this reaction. They, they won't be happy that they learn. They're just going to be pissed off that they had to spell that sign. <laughs> and, and yes, this concerns normal raids too, even if they are optional content. In fact, I'm going to take the skip option for this raid tier. Something I haven't done since I started playing in Stormblood. Or is it Shadowbringers? Who knows? And that's the point, really. For the most part... In the past three expansions, difficulty for normal content was far, far outside of some hiccup here and there. Yeah, same tack. I like the learning process. Of course, there's moments that can feel bad, but I find it motivates me to get better. Uh, you said, I don't think the person who wrote this understand mid-core players. They only are taking, for example, themselves, casual, easy versus hardcore players. Savage is exhausting to do. I don't want, well, so far they haven't been talking about Savage. Um, I don't want to do them anymore, really. Mid-core player aren't eating anything, girl. Like, the normal raid, this expansion is finally the closest you can have it to mid-core. Are you suggesting that a mid-core players are not engaging with Savage because of the commitment required? Well, I guess you could, you could distinguish it between like upper mid core <laughs> mid mid core you know th these categories these distinctions are are a little messy you don't want to skip this right here it sounds like a skill issue or an unwillingness to learn it sounds to me like they want to sleepwalk through the content it does sound like that <laughs> yeah it kind of does yeah, it kind of does. I think they need to come to terms with the fact that 14 may not be for them. Um, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Like, this thing with Balagarmanda, if you don't want to apply yourself to learn, well, you did, but it, like, it's not even that they didn't want to apply themselves to learn because they did they did apply themselves to learn and they cleared without dying. 
but they didn't enjoy that. They looked back on it and felt bad about it, which tells me that this was not a good uh, way to spend their time when the point of the game is to have fun. And I think like, the content shouldn't be made so that anybody can just sleepwalk through it without having any idea what's going on in the fight. Like, that's, that should not be the level to what uh, content is tuned to. Because that's not... That's not gaming. Okay? Like, you could just do a visual novel game. Uh, but <laughs> there's a lot of, like, casual games you could do that won't ask anything of you, really. And, um... The like the the bar of what is expected of you in content, normal content, has risen with Dawn Trail, and um, it's for the long term health of the game. But of course, people that were used to the way it was before, which I think was an unhealthy state for the game to be in, of course, are going to feel a little upset. This concerns normal raids too, even if they're optional content. In fact, I'm going to take the skip option for this raid. Yeah, we just read that. Okay. Well, I, finally, I think people that thrive with difficulty, the ones that demand harder content, already have extremes, savages, ultimate, criterion dungeons, and more. Yoshi P is even touting of savage alliances. What? Is he? <laughs> this people is eating really, really good. Do they need to take normal content too? Ugh. For anyone wondering about the amount of pages of replies, when this thread was around page 11, the streamer Arthur's covered it live, tweeted about it. Oh, Arthur's covered it. Uploaded it to YouTube. Later, I found out other big content creators covered it too. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm giving my take. Oh, no. <laughs> I walked right into this. I thought I was just reading a random thread. Now I'm getting, now I'm, oh, Zeppla gave her take on the, <laughs> God, it's the, I'm part of the discourse. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> The point is, okay, but I, I gave my take. I think the game difficulty is fine. <laughs> and casual players, you have, you have casual stuff that you can do. You can do, um, you can do Island Sanctuary. You can do, uh, ERP. There's, uh, Limza Lemenza. There's content. There's, a. Uh, two die channels of choosing which button you want to die with a second color. You have a, <laughs> a blue mage. That's content. I strongly believe a lot of Dawn Trail content feels hard for some because there's so little combat in the main story quest. <laughs> Actually, great point. <laughs> it can be hard to learn. How are you meant to learn your job when you play for 30 seconds every five hours? That's true. That's a really good point. 